Why? Hello and welcome everybody. It is Pox again. So today I want to go ahead and show you guys my methods uh, of legendary farming in Grimdon. Now, this is pretty much targeted to the audience of people who are already in ultimate difficulty. If you're not in ultimate difficulty, you should not really worry too much about legendary farming. You can still use these spots that I'm going to show you in like elite and normal, but don't expect to get anywhere near the amount of legendaries. Now, the other thing I need to note and really have like a one-on-one -on -one talk with you guys is legendary drops are randomized, meaning there is a chance I might not get, or I might get, I might not get any legendaries in what I'm about to show you. Uh, okay, so step one is if you are looking for the best, most efficient everything in terms of legendary farming, I'm going to help you out right now. Ready? Close out of this video, go buy the Crucible DLC, and run it in Ultimate to 150, because that's the best way. Anyway, if you're here to he here, listen to the other things and other methods of doing it, because sometimes you do get bored and you don't want to do the exact same content 24-7, I'm going to go ahead and show you. Now, uh, the other thing is that per person you add into your group, I want to say it like doubles the drop rate. So the best way to farm legendaries from what I've noticed is do it with a friend or two because that way you can share the legendaries. You know, if he's playing a gunslinger and you're playing a, I don't know, a, a fucking whatever you're playing and something drops, if it's good for you, he can give it to you. Vice versa, you can just trade with each other. So... What our goal is, is we are looking for areas with high density of hero monsters and boss monsters. Because that's pretty much what drops legendaries. Um, so, the first place I'm going to go ahead and go to is Twin Falls. The reason why we go to Twin Falls is there's a lot of these little bug type mobs here. Uh, these little wasp dudes. Um, and I'm going to show you exactly what I'm talking about. So, here's a bunch here. Uh, there was no hero mob. We're gonna keep running till we find a hero mob. There was no hero mob. It's okay. That's what YouTube is for, right? This is why we added content. Inside this area, there is gonna be a guaranteed boss. Now, the bosses have a purple name, uh, and the hero mobs will have that star. So, let's see if we can find a star. Here we go. This is a hero mob right there. Uh, here's two more hero mobs. Yeah, two more hero mobs. Okay, actually three more hero mobs because there's a... Pets, go there. da na 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 da na 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 da na 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 da na 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 Oh. Can that guy solo him? Or do I? don't even know how many are there. Okay, no legendary. So now we're going to go ahead and look to see... Okay, actually the boss is right here. No legendary. Okay, no problem. All right. So another place to go to, and you can just reset your game and do this again, by the way. You can reset as much as you'd like, is I personally like to check out Broken Hills uh, because I've found anywhere from, I think, minimum, I guess zero would be minimum if you're really unlucky, and onwards of like seven hero mobs uh, within just literally like two minutes of walking around. So, let's see what we can find here. That skill's not ready. I'm just going to walk through here and into this little little regen over here. Uh, so, here's one hero mob. And what else do we have? Can we find the boars? Boar Senpai, where are you? I think we're getting scammed, boys. They don't want me to show you the secret boar strats. Here we go. Here's three boars. You know, uh, they hit really hard. Oh, Watcher Crest? What was that? Armor by two, Pierth and Aetherez? Huh. It's a metal, though. Okay, now another thing that you can actually go ahead and do is you can actually do all the act bosses again. So you could go to Warden, who would be located over in here, but I, I've actually never found one off of him. So what I personally like doing instead is I like going to the Rotting Croplands, 
and I like fighting the Queen Scarab, whatever her name is again. And she's going to be located in, like, one of the sections over here. And there's also, like, there's two hero mobs here as well. Now, one other thing to talk about is there is a better method than what I'm doing right now as well. Here we go. Here's the hive. And that would be there are these like three roguelike dungeons currently. There's an Aether one. I don't remember what it's called. There's Steps of Torment, which is, if you guys remember where Broken Hills is, uh, it's right around there where I teleported to. And then there's Bastion of Chaos. Bastion of Chaos in my opinion, is the best place to farm legendaries outside of Crucible because there are just so many hero mobs there. But I didn't want to just go ahead and show you guys that. I'd rather show you guys, like, you know, the open world areas because I feel these are harder to talk about. Uh, and Bastion of Chaos does have, like, some basic requirements. Uh, whereas doing this, this is pretty easy. These are just basic hero mobs. Uh, I don't know how I aggroed, like, everything. That's kind of weird. Uh, they call them roguelikes. I don't really actually believe in their term of roguelike, but they just say roguelike because if you die, you cannot go back in. You have to basically, like, restart the game again, and you do have to pay a skeleton key for it, which is really not that expensive to craft. Now, when you go down this cave entrance here, there's actually going to be a secret in this one, uh, which will take you right to another boss with a chest at the end as well. You know how I feel when you miss your Doom Bolt? And that's going to be here, so we're just going to walk around. In the top right-hand corner, right here, uh, we're going to find a little boss, and he's got a guaranteed chest by him. Actually, there's two. There's going to be this guy, and there should be a purple guy here. I don't know where the purple dude is. There he is. And then we got a supreme chest. As you can see, we found quite a few legendaries already, said no one ever. So now that we've killed uh, both of the dudes down here, I actually don't even know if you need to do this. I think you do. Uh, we can go fight the actual boss, which is, I think it's the Act 3 boss. Who is going to be located right over here? Did I go the wrong way? I did, okay. That skill's not ready. Alright, Hive Queen. Don't fail me now! I got a YouTube video. <laughs>
Oops. That skill's not ready. Uh, we got three epics, actually. That's pretty uncommon to find three. Why did my Doom Bolt just go off? Confirmed using macros gonna get banned. And then there's two chests on the side here. Okay, uh, so since that failed, what I'd also recommend, I'm not going to do this one, but you can go to Tomb of Watchers here. Actually, I'm not going to run it, but I'll show you where to go. And doing the last boss is actually pretty nice for legendaries as well. Just going through the Tomb of the Watcher, um, you can totally find, there's like the Guardian, which is a boss, then there's another Guardian in the second floor, and then there's the actual boss, and then he has two chests, uh, and then there's a bunch of hero mobs in between. Now, for Bastion of Chaos that I was talking about, you literally will just run like this, and boom, that's Bastion of Chaos right there. Uh, Steps of Torment, to show you guys where Steps of Torment is, uh, you will go to Broken Hills, and you would run south. Steps of Torment, I believe, is right. Is it? Hold on. You go here, you loop around, you go down. I think it's right here. Apolog apologies if I'm incorrect. It's It should be, like, around here. Um, and then there is also another one, which is the new one at... Let's see. It's in the conflagration up here. Uh, I think it's this one here. You have to go in through the Aether. Port Valbury isn't new, though. Oh, I thought it was a new one. I thought they said this is a new dungeon. You go in here, and you boom this, and you can go in it right there. Uh, what I'm going to go ahead and do is another method that I ran, which is going to Smuggler's Pass, because there is a guaranteed dude in here as well. The new one that's going to be coming is going to be the beast, the beast roguelike. There is going to be a troll boss right in here. There he is. Okay, I think that's majority of the places that I go to. Uh, like I said, I do also usually, uh, I would run Bastion of Chaos, uh, and then I would do the bosses like Tomb of the Watchers, uh, Warden, um, but that's, I guess, all that I can really sh Oh, actually, Astrakhan Valley is not bad either. Um, this one's more RNG as well, but sometimes you can get, like, a bunch of these, like, Yeti dudes to charge you. Let me see. Oh, Cronley's Hideout, actually. I can show Cronley's Hideout. Let's see. Are any of them over here? There should be a boss, actually. Isn't there a boss Yeti here? Guaranteed. Here we go. Yeah, Rage Blood. At least we got a blueprint. Hmm. That's a component. That's a pretty sick component. Alright. And then... I think I was gonna go one more place. I don't remember. Oh, Cronley's Hideout. Now, there is an added benefit to doing this method instead of, like I said, the other methods is by doing what I'm doing, you'll actually build up reputation for majority, if not almost 
Yeah, pretty much almost all of the reputation dudes that you use. Is that Moneybags Martin? Moneybags Martin. So that's name boss number one. That's Hero Mob and Moneybags Martin down. Uh, there's another method where you can use, um, you can go to places with treasure troves in them. And uh, treasure troves are pretty nice because you can get recipes out of them. I don't think I've found a legendary since this expansion out of a treasure trove, though. I have definitely found recipes, though. Here's another boss. Although, I don't know. Have I gotten a legendary off this guy? Have I? I guess he can drop it, though. He has a loot table like that. Uh, sometimes you can find a le uh, what is it? A hero wasp up here. There's some wasp dudes. Here, I'm gonna run around this way. Here's the hero mob for the wasps. What is that? What did I even just pick up? I'll look at it later. Looks pretty okay, whatever it was. I saw a pet bonus on it. There we go. Finally, we got a legendary. Mythical Codex of Eternal Storms. I would say that's pretty unlucky. I want to say usually I would have found maybe two by now, uh, based off of the amount of guys I've killed. Uh, of course it is RNG how it is. And this is going to be Darius... It was actually an asshole, by the way. Does he have a shield on? Alright, let me get away. Let me get away. And let's re-engage on Mr. Darius. And he actually, I don't know what he just did, but he just shit on all my minions. Lol? Does he have damage reflect? Is that what he does? I think he has damage reflect. <laughs> it has to be damage reflect, there's no way. How much HP does my Hellhound have? My Hellhound has 43k HP. And it like almost died. Mythical frame. Uh, okay. Um, now there is one other thing I want to show you guys that you can do as well while doing this method. There is a hidden quest. Spoilers! If you don't like spoilers, you might want to look away now, but you probably wouldn't watch this if you didn't like spoilers. So, um, there's, this, there's this quest called Hidden Path, and I'd recommend for you guys to look it up. But there are named bosses in, um, in uh, two of these areas. So I want to show you the last two places, and then I'm going to end this. So this one, if you take the lower crossing through here, literally right out of town, you can go north. Or am I going south? Okay, south and then north. There he is. Down he goes. And let's go to... I'm going to go ahead and go to Astrakhan Valley. Which, it would be best to do this when you're patrolling for your Yeti dudes. 
You can alternatively teleport to the one down here. I forgot what it's called. It is a bit quicker, but I prefer taking this route just because, uh, like I said, you can bump into some uh, uh, some boss mobs and or, well, the boss guy there and some hero mobs. Anything here? Nope. Who's that? Nope, nothing there. Uh, I think we want to go this way. Now, the, one of these bosses I may not be able to kill, just because I'm lagging a bit while recording this, and this boss is kind of a pain in the ass, and I do struggle a bit with it. Uh, but for the sake of the video, we're going to go for it. So maybe you got to see me die. Okay, so this one is going to be down here on the hidden path. And there are going to be two named bosses inside here. The advantage of killing named bosses as well is not only do you have a chance at a legendary, but you have a chance at their MI drop. Um, their MI is called their Monster Infrequent. So if you look at this, this is a mace from the Warden, uh, which gives flat health, percent health, plus to skeleton, uh, plus to limit of skeleton, and bonus to pets. So his monster infrequent would be the raised skeleton and plus to limit, and it ended up rolling flat health, percent health, and pet damage, which is really, really good. So here is going to be this Guardian Abysmal, who is pretty pretty much like an asshole because he'll destroy my guys. No, attack... Actually, he's... I don't know what he's doing. If he does his breath, they kind of get destroyed. There's the breath. Oh, they tanked it! Nice! Abysmal leg guards. There's pretty decent, man. Okay, so now we're gonna go ahead and go to Mad Queen, which is gonna be uh, Mad Queen is in a secret. If you see this loose stone, you would just tap it. All right, this one's gonna be this one's gonna be a little awkward. I don't fully know her mechanics. But she is an uber boss, or I don't know what she's considered. She's just really triggered. So we're going to do our best. Expect a lot of minions to die. Alright, we're going to pull him back and wait. Because I think she has her, her reflect is on right now. It's that red thing. And reflect is still on. Reflect is off. Go, boys! Okay, we're going to wait. I think her reflect is turning on. It's still on. It's that red thing. Okay, it's off. Go, go. Minions! Okay, she has it on again. She just like... Yeah. So in that one... In that fraction of a second that I attacked her, she almost killed all the minions. She's gonna turn it on again. We're just gonna kite. And resummon this guy. Let's wait. Okay, re-engage for a second. And wait. Because she just killed... She just killed all of them! Oh wait, no, no, that was just one guy. That's okay. That's okay. Alright. Alright, and that would be Mad Queen as well. Now, the alternative, because I did not... There was one thing I did not get to show in this video. Um, because that's... It's more for like endgame, kind of like this too. Is there are nemesis bosses that you can find... And Nemesis bosses have a very high chance of dropping legendaries, maybe like 60% chance. But to, to basically kill Nemesis mobs, you do have to have uh, Nemesis in the reputation or else they will not spawn. So before even doing like the Nemesis farming, you would have to get the reputation farming, which is why I didn't want to make it about the Nemesis mobs. But by doing the methods that I've showed you guys, you can in fact get Nemesis uh, with a lot of these. An added bonus to doing Steps of Torment and, uh, for example, the Ethereal Area and the Bastion of Chaos is that the Nemesis monsters of that associated area have a chance of spawning inside there, so you can kind of like double your ratios up and get even more reward. 
But that's pretty much going to be about it. I hope you guys had a wonderful time. Hopefully this helps you guys out, uh, especially the newer players to Grimdon. <clears throat> if you liked the video, please feel free to like, share, and subscribe. And remember, you can catch me streaming live every day at twitch.tv slash pox. Hope you guys have a wonderful time, and I'll see you boys all tomorrow. Take care, everybody.